Today, we are working again with ChatGPT. This time, let's try to create a headball game based on Unity, like this example. Wrote to ChatGPT the components that the game should consist of. He gave a response consisting of 10 systematic steps. So, let's begin. Open Unity and create a project. Call it Headball Chat GPT. The first step has been completed. We proceed to step number two. We add objects to the project that will be in our game. Step three, add objects to the scene and edit their sizes. These include football field and background, goal, player one, and player two. The acting characters are this game and video, as well as adding the ball. Let's check what happened. Objects fell into place. Let's adjust their position. Told ChatGPT that he completed the first three points. He offered to move on to the next one and outlined in detail the necessary actions adding physics, gravity, and body mass to object. Set the boundaries of the objectification of the ball. Next, we set up a solid surface of the earth. In our case, the surface of a football field. We give the weight of the body for the gate. After that, we asked ChatGPT to create a script for us to allow players to move. After our request, he created the code that we will copy. We create a folder scripts in which we will place all the scripts we created later. Let's create a player controller script and paste the code copied earlier into it. We apply the set values first for one player, then for the second. Please note that the line's horizontal axis and jump button are not filled. ChatGPT, on this occasion, says that it is necessary to install the input manager in Unity, which allows you to change the control to the buttons we have selected. Therefore, we create a control for player one, prescribe the necessary keys. Similarly, for player two, Similarly, we set the parameters for jumping players. Then paste the created player control parameters into the empty field. Change the indicators of speed and jump force. Let's check what happened. The player is not moving as we want. Let's fix this and check the changes. Now he jumps too high. This state of affairs doesn't suit us either. Let's replace the gravity indicators with linear drag and angular drag. Check the result. Players jump too slow and too high. Change the i-axis index of the physics of the project itself. Let's check the changes. Now everything works the way we want. Thank you, ChatGPT. We asked for a script for the ball. ChatGPT wrote the code. We assigned the mass of the body to the ball. We create a special script. Copy the code and paste it. We change the starting strength of the ball to a static position so that the ball doesn't fly away at the beginning of the game. We check. Everything is fine. The ball has a body mass and it falls to the center of the field. However, the ball rolls across the field and doesn't bounce. We ask Chat Jeep to change the physics of the ball. He offered a step-by-step -step solution to this problem. Create a ball configuration. 
we change the bounciness and friction indicators as well as linear drag and angular drag. Let's check what happened. Wow! Everything works. The ball jumps the way we need. You can see that the ball goes through the crossbars of the goal. To correct this error, we add weight to the crossbars, which will make them material. Also, we set the borders of the background so that the ball doesn't fly outside the game mat. Let's check the result. The identified errors have been corrected. Let's move on to step number six. Now we need to set up a goal fix. We make a request to ChatGPT to describe this step in detail. Point A, select the gate and set the trigger. Its goal is to prevent the ball from flying out of the gate, but to be set to the center of the field after it flies into the net of the gate. Create a script. Copy the code suggested by ChatGPT and paste it. Points B and C. We start working with the text. Set the location of the text, its font, color, size, and other indicators. Thus, we will install a scoreboard that will reflect the score of the match. At the same time, we will make sure that the game ends and the victory is awarded to the player who scores five goals. Let's check what came out of it. The scoreboard appeared. When a goal is scored, the score of the player who scored the goal is changed. Next, we make a request to the ChatGPT that if one of the players wins, the corresponding entry will appear in the game, as well as the Game Restart button. ChatGPT copped with this task and prescribed the code for us. We create a script, insert this code, write winning message, change the size, color, and font of the text. Then add a restart button, name it new game, and set it to click for restart game. We check the result. After five goals scored, a message about the winner of the match appears and a restart button. New game. When pressed, the game restarts. Now the game is ready for use.